Welcome back DIYers. In today's video, we're gonna check out how to fix a leaky dishwasher. So, let's dive in. So guys, from my dishwasher the other day, we were running this and we saw that it was leaking right here on the bottom. Um, checked a few things and we found out that this seal right on the inside here is messed up. It has a hole in it right there. I'll show you guys a little close up of that, but I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually change this seal, take the old one out, put the new one in, and it should be good to go. So let's check that out. So just like any good DIY project, when you start something, you wanna make sure you see how everything went together, where the seal right here goes to, and then also just kinda of how it's facing and everything like that. So you wanna make sure you check that out, but this comes out super easy. And again, you wanna make sure you see how the ends were, as you can see right there, I find a little hole and see all the problems with it. But it's super easy to pull out. All you're gonna do is just make sure that you get all of the items out of your seal first. Then you need to grab the new seal and I'll have a link for the one I used down below. But you also wanna make sure, again, that this is facing the exact same way as the one you just pulled out. It'll also kinda of show you in the directions. But you'll make sure that you place this seal in tight in the areas. You also want to make sure that this is super clean, so if you need to wipe it down, you can even spray it with some disinfectant just to make sure that everything is out of there. But again, you want to make sure that this is facing the correct way so it will get the correct seal. Then you're just going to start putting it in. I've seen people do it where they start it in the bottom. You can also start it in the middle as well, so whichever side you want to use. I've seen people do both. Sometimes they will have like a little marker in the middle where you're supposed to do this. This one did not. It was just the seal itself. And so I just went ahead and started pushing this in and making sure it fit in there nice and tight and snug. But it's super easy. Again, very similar to when you pulled it out. You just want to make sure that you have it in there real tight. It does take a little bit longer than when you put it in there, but you just want to make sure that it fills all that gap so that when this door closed, there will be a tight seal so that no water will come out of there and like always if this video is helpful please let me know that you can leave a like and subscribe also let me know if you have any comments down below as well then you'll just continue feeding this seal all the way into the cracks and all the openings and you can see that there is a little bit of excess so i will cut that here in just a few minutes and i'll make sure again that there is enough of the seal that the door will close and that it will also keep that tight seal in there. So you might have a little bit excess on yours as well. You wanna just make sure, again, you remember what it looked like before and then try to make sure you just mimic that back to it. And so I went ahead and cut this and you can see this is exactly what the seal looked like beforehand. And so I just made it look exactly like it did uh, again before I removed the other one. Then you wanna make sure that everything is nice and tight. So you can just go ahead and check the seals again one more time. Make sure everything is snug in there. Then after you've done it on either side, you are then able to go ahead and shut it. So again, you just wanna make sure that everything is nice and tight. Make sure that none of the seal is actually over the little area that's supposed to be in, which is super easy to do. So just make sure that it is nice and smooth and also even in there so that when you try to shut the door, it will fit. I will let you guys know, sometimes these are a little bit larger and they might be a little tight. So when you try to go and shut the door, you might have to use a little bit more force than you're used to. Again, that's what we did right here. We had to use a little bit more force than we were earlier, but it did shut and it has been pretty good and hasn't been a problem for us um, since we've done this. Then the next thing you'll do is grab this other little part. This is actually the bottom seal for your door. And like I mentioned before, you want to see how this goes in there and be very careful with it. And also notice, again, how everything fits in there just nice and neat. So this is actually the hardest part for us was trying to get this back in there. It comes out really easily, but you want to make sure, again, that you see where everything is. There's a little notch right on the right side for ours right there. And so you wanna make sure you notice that. That's how this fits in there. This was super gross. Also, some of that um, item that kinda of holds the water into the dishwasher itself was gone. And so we believe this is what was leaking as well. You can see all the 
just kind of grossness stuff right there. But this is DIY, and this is what everybody's house looks like. But you can see the small little, again, notch kind of on the right side of this item right here. And what you're going to do is just slide that in, and you'll kind of feel it lock in. And I want to be flat honest with you guys, and I will tell you that I worked on this for a long time, and it was actually my wife that came in after I got finished putting this in, trying it over and over and over, trying to make it fit in just right, and she came in and actually did it for me. So I will say big shout out to my wife coming in here and doing this, but I will say make sure that you can get that little notch in right there. You'll kind of feel it slide in and stick in and that's actually very important because we ran this without changing this little bottom piece and it actually leaked again then i thought i fixed it tried to put it in there it also leaked again and then like i said my wife went ahead and worked on it for about 45 minutes herself and was able to get that piece in there as well so sometimes it will go right in and honestly sometimes you have to work on it for an hour or so and just kind of get that notch in there. You're just really sliding it in. And again, you wanna make sure that everything goes in there nice and neat. And something that did help us actually be able to get this in there was taking a video of what you're actually doing. You can kind of see the back side of this here. What you're gonna do is just lift up a little bit on this lip and it's just gonna slide right in there. And again, you're trying to get that notch perfectly aligned again where we showed you. And here's what the bottom seal should look like, just barely noticeable when you're looking at it from the top view. So guys, like I mentioned, we're able to change the seal on the top and also the bottom as well. Um, and it's been running right now for a little over a month. Also, the seal on the top is a little bit more easy to push. Um, you can push it back in, it's not as hard as it was. So now that it's getting in there and getting formed, works pretty well. And overall, this thing has been great. Um, I'll leave a link down below with everything that I use in case you're interested in that. But if this video was helpful, you can let me know that. You can leave a like and subscribe. You can also check out another video right here, and I'll see you over there.